Okay, the merge sort is another um, sorting algorithm. Um, and essentially, if we take an unordered data set like we've got at the top, the way a merge sort works is the first thing it does, sort of step one, is it keeps splitting our list in half. So if you imagine this is a data structure, I'm going to refer to it as a list of data. It keeps splitting this in half until I've got uh, lengths of one. Okay, so I'm going to, first off, I'm going to split them in half like that. So now I've got two lists, and but they're still not a length of one. So I'll go again. They're still not a length of one. So I go again. Okay. So you get however big the data set is, you keep breaking it down until it's got a list length of one. Now, what we then start to do is we start to merge the list together. So what we'll do is we'll merge these two lists together into a list of two. So we're going backwards. So we're trying to get back to that form. However, as we merge them together, we're going to um, put them in order. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a new list essentially. And I'm going to look at the first item in this list and the first item in this list. And whichever is lowest is going to be the first position in my new list. And then the next one, I'll look at the first item in that list, first item in that list, and I'll take the next lowest. Obviously, when there's only two items, it's going to look at 12 and 5 and put 5 in first, and then it will look at 12 and nothing and put 12 in second. And over here, I'll look at 7 and 55 and put 7 in position 1, and then 55 in position 2, and then this one will be 2365, that one will be 2175, like that. And then we go again. So then down here, we're going to now make lists of 4, where I look at the first item of each list, so five and seven, and I'll put a five in this new list, and then look at the first item in each list, which will be 12 and seven, and then I'll put seven in, and then look at 12 and 55, and I'll put 12 in, and then look at uh, 55, and I'll put 55 in. Just so try and show you that with a pen. I'm gonna have to rub it out afterwards. So my new list, I would look at the first items in each list on the on the right, which is 21 and 23. So I'll put 21 in, uh, cross 21 out there. Then look at the first item in each list, which is 23 and 75. So I'll put 23 in and cross it out there. First item in each list, 65, 75, 65 in, first item, 75. And that's how the merge algorithm works. So it just keeps merging the data together by looking at the first item in each of the lists that is trying to merge. Okay. And I'd end up with two bigger lists. And again, exactly the same process as I've just gone through with you, but now they're bigger lists. So it would look at 5 and 21, 5 would go in, 7, 21, 7 would go in, 12, 21, 12 would go in, 21, 55, 21 would go in, 23, 55, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'd end up with a sorted list. And that's how the merge sort works.